Today we have That Killer Chris in the studio with Joey and myself, and we are talking about the unknown from the skies. That's right. Not the unknown from Hollywood, which would be Joey, but the unknown in the in the universe. All right. We're, we're talking about aliens. Okay? Aliens. The Natural Habitat Podcast. Welcome to the Natural Habitat Podcast, everybody. My name is Mikey Booyah. I'm Dat Killer Chris. My name is Unknown. And we are here to uh, to talk about just that. We're, we're here to talk about the unknown. Not the unknown, unknown from Varsity Dropouts. We talk about him yeah. all the time. All right? I'm tired Leave of talking. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to talk about aliens and what may or may not exist outside of our world. And... Um, you know, I think that we all have a... Uh, we all have three separate opinions, you know. Yeah, we all have different sides and different uh, different things. I think that w- we should jump right into what we were talking about before we started recording, which was the pyramids. pyramids. Yeah, pyramids is like a huge, uh, like, controversial thing, you know, because they don't know if the Egyptians and, like, all the slaves built, the Jews built them back then, or if it was fucking aliens or, you know, who are the fuck is... Imagine... <clears throat> those rocks are 3,000 plus pounds, you know, and how the fuck did they uh, carry them 200, 300 feet up in the air and and put them and place them in these little, you know, certain spots where it just, like, slowly builds into the corner, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's weird. It's like, how can they do that? And they were, back then, they were, like, 5'2", you know what I'm saying? They were small as fuck. So it was like, how can they physically do that without having three, four hundred men to do one block? You know, yeah. it would take them years. Yeah, and we were talking about how uh, how they all line up to to stars and yeah. <coughs> certain uh, constellations, as as well as uh, Joey brought up Stonehenge does the same thing, lines up with everything. Yep. And, and those, so those the, are crazy too. The the blocks for the pyramids each weigh two and a half tons. Damn. Two and a half tons. That's fucking five thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some that are even bigger than that. That's insane, man. Yeah, that's well, crazy. I do know that uh, to play uh, to to play the side of the skeptic. I know that there was there was a mural that they unearthed recently, like in the past. Uh, I want to say it was about a year ago, and it was a uh, it was a painting of. There was uh, some sort of pharaoh or exalted figure that was standing on top of a block, and there was a there was a whole like a whole army of people behind it pushing yeah. it, and then there was a whole army of people in front of it pulling it with ropes. And on top of the block was two men, and they were pouring water on the sand. And then there was people Uh. down on the bottom that were, like, pressing the sand down. And it was something about... Because if you just pull it in the sand, the sand will just kind of stop it. And it'll dig itself in. But if you get the sand wet, it'll slide over the top of it. Yeah, it's true. And they just used... Because they had so much manpower and they could control people and be like, you have to do this now. Well, yeah, they had a lot of slaves and shit. And, uh, And according to this mural, there was some sort of, you know, some sort of way that they pulled it off. And uh, there was no beings in the sky or giant men or UFOs in the mural. Okay. So I'm not saying that aliens okay. didn't have anything to do with it. What about, let me say this, and why inside is there, like, uh, you know how there's uh, writings on the wall and shit, like drawings of different things and, like, stories and shit? Why do some of them have, like, alien aircrafts and, and, and outer, like, extraterrestrial thing, things uh, on the fucking walls back in That's those time in the of pyramids. Days. You know what I'm saying? Not in the that's pyramids. That's not a pyramid. Yeah. That's um. That's at one of the temples. Oh, that's not the, the, the temples. Pyramid. I mean, but yeah. still in, the, in Egypt. <clears throat> you know what yeah, I'm saying? but like, I, yeah. I I brought this up recently. But it had pyramids. It had like on the on those in the stories. It had all the pyramids. It had some pyramids, and they had 
you know, like pharaohs and fucking. Then they had the lights on top of it, like yeah. an alien and shit. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely seen some crazy paintings for sure. But you know, and those were made long, long time ago. When you know, way before the you know, back in those times. You know, what I would say to that is think about the things that you've drawn on walls, and then add ten thousand years to that, and what someone would make out of it. And you were just high. You know what I mean? You were drunk. Drawn some sort of like logo and like a pot leaf on the <laughs> so wall. So you think someone drunk just wrote like <laughs> well, I'm, a spaceship? I'm just saying can't. you can't you can't trust it. You can't translate it from oh, what no, we know man. today from what they knew back then. And it was just some guy, like you know. Okay, let's <laughs> let's think about this. What what do you think the pyramids were for? I have no clue. Um, I I a part of me believes what I was taught. That the pyramids were graves; they were tombs for important people. Yeah, because it was well. There's never, there's never been a casket or a sarcophagus with a body found in a pyramid. Dang, are you for real? You just never blew, ever. You just blew my mind. <laughs> Damn. Um, all all the all the burial sites are around the pyramids. I think they were like oh, yeah. in I the think... Valley of the Kings. It's where they have the they dug down into all the burial sites, right? Yeah. Not a single person, not a single pharaoh, not a single anybody has been buried inside of a um I think that's pyramid. where they would go so, to have their secret meetings and shit. I uh the the thing about it is is the story goes from these Egyptian scholars the 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 pyramids were power plants. Yeah. And and so the 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 pyramids are different types of rocks, right? They're one type of rock that is an energy absorbing type of rock, and then it has another outside layer that it had to smooth it on the outside that was an insulating type of rock that would harness and keep the energy on the inside. And then at the very tip that's not there anymore was a conducting rod. They used to say that the tip of the pyramid was gold or something like that. Yeah. And that would make sense because gold is the best conductor. Yeah. And so the way the way that it would harness vibrations and energy, natural energy from the earth, because there's electricity moving through the ground at all times, right? So yeah. there's ways to like harness it and be able to move it like Wi Fi. You know, so so it's sucking energy from the ground and locking it inside and keeping it all focused into one direction and it shoots out through the top and creates like a wireless electricity for everybody. So it's like it's crazy, man. It, it's crazy yeah. the way that it works. And if you listen, <laughs> so I think the alien showed them that kind like, of technology. And this this wasn't on the ancient alien show, but they do make a lot of valid points. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's like everything completely makes sense to me. You know um, that the, makes a lot of sense. They, when you when you go inside and and everything on the walls look burnt, look dark, and and black. There's no paintings. There's no anything. Why? It it resembles an oven, basically. Is what they say. It's like you look at it and you feel like you're in an oven, like you feel like you're inside a machine. It's not a temple or a place of worship because the walls are not ornately painted. They're not. There's not drawings and and things everywhere. You know what I'm saying? If it was a place of worship or a, or a burial chamber or something like that, it would be elaborate. Every there would be shit everywhere. It would be there would be the entire story of whoever was in there, yeah, um, yeah. drawn up on all the walls. You know what I'm saying? And and none of that's there because that's not what it was used for. It was actually used for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? It, it was built purpose driven. So to think of it outside of the box like that, like as maybe some type of a machine or like some type of like they were they really had their shit together back but then. But how do you, you think know? how do you think they got that kind of knowledge? Like, you know, exactly. And that's another part, too. It's like think about this. OK, if you were lacking knowledge, this is a point that ancient aliens brings up a lot that um, I completely agree with. It totally makes sense. You know, it's like. If you if you lived ten thousand years ago from now and you're lacking the knowledge, the descript knowledge of trying to trying to be able to determine what something is, say you're se seeing something in the sky, but you don't know what it is. You've never seen it before. You don't know how to explain it. Well, what's relevant to you back then? Back in Roman times and shit like that, what did they have? They had they had chariots. Yeah. So yeah. that was the only type of vehicle that they had. The only thing that moved on, without wagons, being on the back you know, of an animal. Wagons so, and yeah, chariots. You know? So they see something flying in the sky. Obviously, to them, it's a flying chariot. You know what I mean? And that doesn't mean it's a 
a god or anything like that. They just have a lack of understanding and knowledge of how to explain it. So they use terms that are valid to them in that time period. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, there's a flying chariot. Must be sent from the gods. You know what I mean? They don't know how else to explain it. Yeah. That yeah. was their best definition to them. You know? So Yeah, that's true. And now we're all we're all conditioned to to seeing all these things in movies and in entertainment and shit to where and to knowing them as aliens and shit yeah like, to, to where if we see something in the sky we automatically think that it's an alien or it's some sort of government aircraft that's gonna drop a bomb on us <laughs> and it's all it's it's all about it's all about the world that you live in and that's what i'm saying uh like with cave paintings you can't really you can't really judge it because you're judging it off of what it what you would think it would mean if someone were to draw that today not if someone were to draw that when it was drawn. You got to think of what they were pulling off of and all of that shit. But we, uh, no, go ahead. We live in a universe. We live in a universe where there's trillions of stars and billions of galaxies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying Let's, to not uh, to not to not automatically assume that there's other life out there is very brazen and selfish and yeah because how can there not you know? be like in, in a, I, I believe in parallel universes where like say we're doing this now in another universe all three of us are not you know doing the opposite or whatever you yeah and that's saying? another so possible like, thing too but and and that's like and and with those being realms of possibility that is even greater. That's like a, a trillion star universe times a trillion universes. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's numbers, numbers so big that you can't even begin to. Yeah, fathom let's it. talk you about. Can't question it. Let's talk about how big the universe is for a second. All right, it's all the way big. Like it's huge, man. Like <laughs> all the way. It never Great ends, description. Man. All the way big. All yeah, the way big. That, that I don't think it, it ever ends. Like when you, know? you see when you see pictures from like from like the Hubble of. You know, some like giant gas cloud or something being formed in space. And, you know, it's like some big fucking giant thing. And you're like, wow, how'd we get that picture of that that's so far away? It's because this thing that you're looking at is, you know, five solar systems tall. Yeah. And just huge as fuck. And we're so minute. We're tiny in the Milky Way galaxy. We're on this little tiny arm. And the Milky Way galaxy is one of an infinite amount of galaxies out there. So there's life everywhere. There's all different types of life that we can't imagine. And I think it's all about we've only gone so far. Like in in a manned yeah. like ship, That's we've true. we've only gone to the moon. We haven't even made we haven't even shot off to Mars yet. So, you know, uh we've only gone a little tiny tiny fraction of a piece into the universe yeah. compared to how deep it is so there's probably a lot of other life forms that haven't made it as far as us because it was like you know in space there's paired uh, like wormholes and shit like that like that leads you to different areas like i don't think space ever ends like i think it's yeah. just a forever going thing it's just no, so it's just space space is constantly expanding that's the thing yeah. our universe is constantly expanding so we can't see it because it's moving faster than light the yeah. universe is the only thing that moves faster than light so it's like it's like we we can look back to where it started though and we've almost found it we're we're like we're really close to seeing like um to being able to look in as far back like we're looking at right now we're looking at the farthest earliest known galaxies right now yeah. and and that's just a recent discovery you know what i'm saying it's like we can almost see all the way back to the big bang and see how everything really happened you know we're we're constantly progressing in that area of science for sure so it's it's pretty cool to see all this shit yeah the yeah. oldest the oldest light in the universe is 13.4 billion years old and yeah, that's a long fucking time it's been traveling through space for 13.4 billion fucking years that's insane yeah, you know what i mean at, yeah. the, at the speed of light yeah. fucking just zooming along <laughs> and uh it's crazy man we're dinosaurs like, were here 65 million years ago so it's like think about that right? 65 million years feels like a long time 13 billion you know you can't even you don't you can't even comprehend these numbers and people you know, it's so they're so big it, it would take people you know deck or lifetimes two or three four, four lifetimes to even reach a, a third or an eighth of that you know just you a small piece, you know, they would never be able to do it, you know. It's, yeah. It's just a never ending thing. Yep. And uh fucking it's a trip, man. I'm starting to trip now about space and like everybody thinks that Is that light and it's like after that just creates all kinds of things like 
stars appeared. And we all we all think the world's so important, and like we're the center of the universe, and like we're we're, fucking we're this ultimate. A it's pe- because all the things in the show, bro. Like all the things that we see around us are dead and desolate. So we think that we're so awesome and advanced, and that we're the shit. But uh, no, really, we're, we're nothing. <laughs> we're just a little tiny fucking you, there's other, ant colony. Other planets with higher technology than us, and would just like. One button would fuck us all up, you know, blow the whole planet up. And what do you think the chances are of some sort of intelligent being coming here, seeing us, and saying, that's ridiculous, and just leaving? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, the the theory is is that we ourselves are hybrids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're, are you talking about are the, like, uh, the, hum- the humans theory? are like... No, it's like um, they're saying that Basically, there's one theory that um, they needed gold to fix their atmosphere. Like they needed so- something to do with like gold could like purify somebody's atmosphere. So they came here in search of it because there was a lot of it here on our planet. And the only people here was like um, cavemen, you know, like Neanderthals or some shit or some- something like less evolved. So their theory is that the aliens bred with us and created like a slave race that was here to do all their fucking dirty work and And we just harvest we harvest the gold yeah 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 and and you know so it sounds like pretty crazy or whatever but um if you think about it what is what is our economy based off of you know we're we're backed by the gold standard. Yeah. Everything in everything that's relevant in our life revolves around gold. And who knows what they do with it? Nobody's ever seen inside of Fort Knox. You don't know if there's even gold in there. Yeah, you know there's, what I'm saying. There's so. speculation that there is no gold in Fort Knox. Yeah, you know? I remember yeah, seeing so a whole that, whole special about it. Yeah, they don't even know. Like, and they've been asked to show to show people the gold. Like, high officials in Congress and and the Senate was like, okay, well, we're sending people, and you must show them the fucking gold, and they. They refuse to like they're like you don't have the authorization to come over here and check our shit you know <laughs> and like they shut them down you know what i'm saying and there's nothing they can do about it you know yeah so they don't even like there's a good chance that there ain't nothing in that fucking place you know it's just a big facade and that's why there's, there's so yeah. much guard and, and and it's all these guards and high security and shit for what for nothing just the the image of there's gold in there you know yeah because if they found out there was no gold then the economy would collapse because our money wouldn't be worth anything it wouldn't have no backing we'd have no, backing. We'd have no we, like, we yeah we ain't got no uh 500 million dollars in gold or whatever it is you know yeah some crazy so they amount. can't tell everyone and yeah. they're giving all the gold to the damn aliens to make their fucking atmosphere <laughs> I yeah, think they're that, like if you don't and, do if and you don't, isn't that like a believable <laughs> scenario? You know I, what I mean? When you think about be. it, all these crazy conspiracies start somewhere um outlandish but end yeah. up somewhere with a lot of truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and that's, that's a, the thing that makes people easily believable and gullible when it comes down to these things. If you look, you know, that our our foundation is the gold standard. Everything for thousands of years, of as long gold. as people have been civilized. You know, so they just take something that's true to life like that and then use it to push their belief or whatever it is. You know, like I th- I feel like that is a, but just a believable story as fucking Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. think about it. There's no, you know, uh, Jesus yeah. is not real. There's there's no way that any magical person can just come around and do all the shit that he did, supposedly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if if motherfuckers will believe that. Definitely, people will believe some factual shit based in some type of science. You know what yeah. I mean? You yeah, know? yeah. No, so, I feel you on that. Yeah, I don't know if I do though. That sounds pretty deep for me. <laughs> this, I, uh, I, I believe it. It is. It could be so fucking true. I you think know? that. Uh, I. I. I think that we just randomly happened. That human beings just randomly happened, and we came along this trail. We just randomly appeared here, like. Well, no, we we evolved. <laughs> One day there was a. Uh, we evolved from some fish, grew legs, and started walking around. And then fucking so do you don't believe time. like the ape theory, like we didn't evolve from like. Well, yeah, and then it turned into apes, and then apes turned into people. Like I believe all that, and like evolution. But what, and shit. But what about what about this? In in evolution, for something to exist, it has to evolve from one thing to another, right? Yeah. The other one doesn't exist anymore, right? Because there's no need for it. It evolved into a higher form, so the old one goes extinct, right? So yeah. why are there still monkeys? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a God argument to me. 
Are you arguing with God? No, it's not. A, it, I'm arguing. <laughs> I'm arguing the fact that I'm not saying evolution isn't real. Evolution yeah. is real in every in every species except for people. Yeah, it's very true that uh, there would there would be no need for monkeys anymore. There wouldn't there be. There kind of is evolution, thing. but it's not like to a dramatic stage. Yeah, I don't. Uh, evolution is true to every single species on Earth. People just look people. better as, as the year goes on. You know, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, but but then again, I think that it, there is a good chance that we could have been brought here at one point. Like, I mean, yeah. uh, I I don't know. I wasn't here, so I can't really speak on it indefinitely and say that that's what happened. Yeah, but I do. Uh, I, I do believe that there is some sort of alien intelligent uh like you know force or something that uh that is here all the time that visits us and is always flying around like it sounds crazy but there, I, I don't <clears throat> there's definitely something watching us all the time I don't side because with they're everybody. interested in our in our evolution they're interested in see where we're at compared to them. You know what I'm saying? They're always measurement of judgment of like, okay, how far advanced are these guys to us? Are they even close to us? Are they past us? Maybe. I don't even even think it goes that far. You know what I'm saying? I don't don't even think it goes that far because in the the evolutionary scheme of things, um, if there's aliens that have the technology to come here and do that, obviously they're more involved. And they're not worried about us. Yeah, we're not even. Well, maybe they. Maybe we have some some kind of minerals or, or something they need. You know. The farthest we can go is to our own satellite, the moon. That's it. We yep. can't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? We have no, no technology whatsoever. We're mad so stupid. It's like, if, it's like yeah. if they can come here across galaxies, you know, and yeah. in any amount of time, you know, for one thing, we can't even get to Mars within a year. It takes years to get to Mars, right? It takes fucking like a year and a half or two years or something. You know, think about this. It, you know how far another galaxy is away? Light years, dude. Light years is fucking hundreds of years. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like the, the the scheme of things and the technology leap is fucking ridiculous. Nobody's going to come here to worry about what we're doing. That's beyond but on anything. That, yeah. If anything, it's like they're just like trying to babysit us and make sure that we don't fucking kill ourselves. Right. Or, or whatever it is, you know, it, or trying you to go figure us out. If it's like it's like this, if you were gonna invade another country, you're just gonna land there and take your chances, not knowing what's going on, or are you just gonna just kick back and fucking spy on them and and check everything out and learn everything first? You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. that type of scenario. I, I feel think like, I, you know, I think they would sit here and they would they would uh, learn. All of what we got, our technology, and what we're working with before they do invade, and then they would say, "Okay, they only have minimal fucking weaponry, you know, and minuscule shit. Our shields and whatever can can fuck with that." Uh, and they would come <laughs> and invade, man. No bullshit. Like I think they would just kind of figure it out <laughs> and see what we have and see what they need. If they needed some kind of water and minerals, some some kind of shit like that 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 we had a lot of and they needed in their country or their planet. I think right. they would come and and murder everybody and take what they want and then dip. See, I think, that, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's time for us to use our new hashtag. The Tell NHP, about it, Mikey. NHP smoke sesh. Is that what you talk about? Yep. All right. I think yeah. <sighs> it's shit's, shit's getting crazy here. So <laughs> <laughs> we need so to, many uh, beliefs, man. I mean, so many different it's good. ideas. You know, it's it's good. Um, we have a uh, we have a new. A new hashtag, but oh, a, re- a recurring segment that's been happening on the podcast for a while. If you're All a right. listener, you know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the NHP smoke sesh. Smoke sesh. Now, what it is is that uh, I found out that I was thinking about it one day when I was high, and podcasts are recorded <laughs> at one point in space time, right? Yeah. And they're absorbed in all different points of space time. Different people. Some people listen right away when it re- when it drops. Some people listen to it the next day. Some people listen to half of it one day and the yep. other half next week. Yeah. So it's all different times in space. Well, with the NHP smoke sesh, we create a wormhole and connect all of these times in space and we all smoke together. So Dope. I figured out, uh, I found a Stargate in the attic of my grandma's house. Did you really? Yeah. It was a classic nice. Stargate. It had all Dope. the, all the symbols around the side, created cool. a water like, mirror barrier that i could walk through crazy crazy and uh, and, uh w- when i got to the other side 
I was sitting in a house of someone that was uh, listening to the podcast and smoking weed. Wow. And I immediately left because it was weird. And uh, <laughs> I just, um, all right, peace out later. Because I, I came out in their attic. I didn't come out like in their bedroom. Oh. So I started walking down, realized what was happening. And then I was like, I can't just be in their house. I got to get out of here. So I grabbed a couple DVDs, hopped back in the Stargate. <laughs> and uh, now I realized that we could just turn it on and blow smoke into it. And it'll all work out. Let's go. So here we go. NHP Smoke Sash. Engage. Smoke Sash. Now, what were we talking about? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> aliens. Aliens, aliens. Um, there was a point... <laughs> there was a point that I was going to make about these god dang aliens. These goddamn aliens always come around here. Um, I think that... Uh, I, I think that every once in a while... <laughs> I'm not sure, of course. I'd, I'd like to say that I don't really stand anywhere solidly because... I don't know, and my opinions change all the time every time that I read yeah. something or find something out. But I think that something gave us gives us technology every once in a while. Because there was the guy that... Do you think that like they sh- shoot it in one person's brain and that yes. person just evolved, like, was like, wakes up one day and was like, I have this genius Dude, idea. Oh, my God, Chris, that's exactly what I think. <laughs> because I need, I need to find this guy's name. Because I told this story before, but there was a dude, and it was, uh, I want to say it was like in the 30s or something like that, 30s yeah. or the 40s, and uh, they fucking, he has a dream one night, and in this dream, he sees like a mathematical equation, right? So either it was a dream, or he was given this equation during they some was, like, sort of visit, in the, beamed in his head, or like... abduction, or some shit that he doesn't remember. But he remembers this equation, so he wakes up and he writes it down. And the equation's 23 pages long of, like, high math, like fucking Damn. crazy shit. So he writes it down, and he just can't get over it. Like, he's obsessed with it. He's telling all these people. He's bringing it to all these, like, professors and shit. Nobody knows what it is. Nobody knows what it means. They're like, yeah, you're crazy. It's just a dream. You should probably go get checked out. And then uh, 20 years later... They're making uh, cell phones and Motorola's to go to the moon because that was how they communicated was through a, Mo- a Motorola phone yeah. from the Earth right. to the moon. Yeah. And uh, that, that equation that this dude got in his dream was the missing piece of the Motorola phone that we all use in our pockets today. Huh. And it wasn't, just, it wasn't just a string of numbers. It was all 23 pages. All 23 pages were used in the making of this technology. So, yeah, well, they also say that um, all the shit that we use now, fiber optics, everything came from Roswell, from the UFO crash. Yeah. And the, all the public. It's all reverse engineering. It's like they, they know so much and they're slowly leaking every like little pieces of technology out to the world because they, they see the, the type of technology they have, the world's not ready to handle, you know, type shit. So the stealth bomber, right? The stealth bomber yeah. is like the fucking the top of the, the technology bad, that we got. Hey, bad right? ass bomb. That shit's, top not, shit's top been out since the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's top not. Well, they have the stealth bomber but it didn't one come and out the stealth bomber two. Until the 90s. You know? Yeah, well, they have they have a uh, new new type of stealth bomber and shit now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like we're thirty years behind whatever they say they have. That's what I'm trying to say. That's my point. And and the only way that they could be thirty years ahead in technology than the rest of the world is is by having the you know aircraft. what I'm saying by having some type of help. I think. Yeah, I think I, I think they have one of those alien aircraft and they're just like studying it and like learning the technology. And as they learn it. 
Yeah, it's reverse engineering. They put it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They 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 keep it and they put it in a, a safe, wait a couple years, and then they start building it. And then, like, slowly little pieces of it will come out to help this type of, like, help the computers. They'll bring out uh, some new chip that will help out, bring it faster, more memory, and all this other crazy shit with one little right. chip, you yeah. know? Everything's and getting I got smaller. some crazy, uh, I got a crazy story that this guy comes on the radio, he, like, calls this radio show, and... He um, claims that he worked for at Area 51 and that he was like privy to some type of knowledge. And um, they found out he was going to leak it or something. And so he had to like go on the run and like all this crazy shit. Right. Uh-huh. And, and he calls in like it's his public radio show. It's Art Bell. And he calls in and he's like um, saying a story or whatever. And then the radio station gets shut down huh. almost seriously and and it's like right fucking, after it's pretty that, crazy it i don't know down. if you guys have heard it but no. um, right after that right after that shit they got shut down yeah let's hear it and you're on the air hello hello art yes hi um i i i don't have a whole lot of uh, time um well look let's begin by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? I, I a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. Well, um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, the space program made contact with, uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military. I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge <laughs> It says losing transmission, losing satellite. I, I started getting transmission lost. Dang! So it was the whole, uh, the whole station. In some way, what? Something knocked us off the air, and we're on a backup system now. It's a uh, government, or I don't know. It has to be something, though. Well, did you hear? Now, you tell me because you were listening. That was awful strange. There was a really weird guy on the air when it went off? Yeah. Real weird out. Like uh, going sort of sort of sounding paranoid? Yeah. Electronic. Like crying and everything. Yeah. 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 And how far into the conversation was it when, when it went off? It just a couple, about 15, 20 seconds, I'd say. Oh, you, you guys missed it. You really missed a call then, and I've got a feeling somebody didn't want you to hear it. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it was really strange. All of a sudden, I'm hearing Mark Sherman. When I'm, when All right. Well, the network, the network, of course, went immediately to a backup tape while we tried to figure out what blew up here. Uh-huh. The transmitter went So that's what you up. heard suddenly. For some unknown reason. I've never seen it do this in all the years, all the years that we've been on the air. I have never seen the transmitter in this way just simply fail, a massively fail, like a massive heart attack or some kind. It's crazy, right? Damn, that was uh, hella crazy. I, so I don't the, know. The crazy I, part I is like, that. well, besides that, the dude was um, 
sounded, weird. sounded pretty fearful of something, right? He sounded like tripping. Now he could have been somebody just like mentally unstable. Yeah. He could have been an actor. You yeah, know, what he could have been, been, been a million like things, a right? Call you never know. Shit. You, know. you never know, but it sounded scary. It sounded and pretty real. The shit that he w- the shit that he was talking sounded legit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What normal people would know anything about the difference between um, extra dimensional and fucking anything else? You know what I'm and saying? Extraterrestrial. Like, yeah, extraterrestrial just means not from this planet. You know, it just means not from the terrestrial Earth. But extra dimensional means you can go in between dimensions, like like. There's there's a shitload of dimensions we just can't see because of the um, lack of capacity whatever, we have. Whatever it call, it's called, the way that our eyes perceive it or whatever. We can yeah. only see like the one dimension that we're here yeah. and, and in three dimension, which is like 3D or whatever. So it's like, but but yeah. yeah, so like the dude sounds like he knows some shit. He sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Like he overheard some shit and he was freaked the fuck out. He's like, he's like the fucking alien Edward Snowden leaker. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know he's like, yeah, that but was who knows? Creepy. You know what I mean? Like, it's a it's a scary scenario to think about. Like maybe and what you know, kind you of- never know. You never know what they could be capable of. You never know like what type of. Like if if they're benevolent or 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 malevolent, you know what I'm saying? If yeah, if they're fucking true. good or evil, what are, what are they gonna try to do? Or like, you know, are they gonna be like just trying to reach out because we're another life form, or are they gonna try to enslave us? You know what I mean? It's like you you look at what humans have done by ourselves. We've looked at like um, we've gone we've gone in search of new lands. And when we get to the new lands, we fucking conquer the new lands and we take over and enslave the people there and take what we want. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, it, and that's just human nature here with limited resources that have nothing. If you have capabilities of coming from other galaxies, you're light years ahead of our technology. Yeah. It's nothing. It's if really they can just nothing jump through dimensions and galaxies over. like fucking in seconds. You know? And that's what yeah. I think that people are. People would be so oblivious to it because it uh it's it's unlike anything we could even imagine because they're beyond such so they're on such a higher level and they could be something like you know like microwaves how microwaves are everywhere moving through the air and for a lot of human existence we didn't know they existed at all yeah nobody knew at all that they were there but now we can catch them and read them and harness them and do all this shit and uh been using them since vietnam yeah and it could be it could be something like that something that's on a whole nother plane that we can't see or we can't smell so we don't know what's there imagine if you didn't have if human beings didn't have a nose we wouldn't fucking know that shit smelled like things yeah nobody would know or care it wouldn't be anything nobody would if nobody would miss it it would just be like whatever that's how it is so yeah there's probably, you know, that goes way, way deeper than we know and that we'll ever find out as people, but, you know, as individual people, but as a human race, we're constantly growing and getting stronger. But I have a, I have a video also that I would like to play of a, a friend of mine that got interviewed on a news station for uh, seeing UFOs. So here it is. Oh, no, I'm planning a trip. I'm planning a trip. Uh, we're going out to like Arizona or something and figure something out. Or not Arizona. What was it? Yeah, it was Arizona, right? Air, the Air Force One where they found all that stuff. I got pictures of Roar. I seen grave sites. <laughs> They're out there, man. And I, I'm flying in the plane. I'm always hallucinating, but who really knows what I'm looking at? You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Um, well, but there's no proof of this. Just people's accounts. You're right. There, there's no proof. But, I mean, there's no proof of Jesus or, you know, people go in the restroom until they tell you about it. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just kind of what I say, thanks. Uh, All right. So you believe it, then? Oh, definitely. Definitely. What the Do you think there's, fuck? like, little green men out there? No little green men, sir. No? Well, no. what do you think there is out there? Who knows, dude? They could be made of water. I don't even know. Water? Water, man. You heard the man. Water. Wow. You should have seen his face. He was like, <laughs> extraterrestrial. You mean? That the extraterrestrial. Ex- extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My dude. 
Man. Oh, fuck. Is that, is that what I sound like this whole time? What I... <laughs> Cause I kind of just that's did. That's what the, we sound like. That's what we all sound like. Cause I did that same thing. I was all like, <laughs> they could be made out of like something else that we don't even know. <laughs> but he, he was just <laughs> on some whole other, whole other, other shit. Like, mm-hmm. man, that's some good shit. So, uh, have you guys, uh, ha- have you guys had any personal experiences with the unknown or, you know, uh, something that may or may not have been aliens, Joey, yourself? Um, there's been two times that I thought maybe I saw something, but it's just iffy, you know, like I've been, uh, and when you go like camping and shit, you see like, you know, there's no lights around. So there's like, you can see the stars a lot better and you can see like all the satellites passing by and you get, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can see a lot of shit. Well, there's been like a, two times where I've been like walking or something and like look up and think I see something, you know what I mean? But yeah. then, um. But then I can't find it again mm-hmm. after I realize it type have, of thing. I have never so. seen in any kind of like spaceship or anything, but I, you know, I I believe in them somewhat. You know, it's like I'm still like on the <coughs> like on the borderline. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not sure if I do or if I'm not sure if I don't. Oh man, you guys make my story sound crazy. I don't want to tell my story now. <laughs> Tell me what's your story, yeah, Mikey. I think I think I've t- I've told it before. It happened uh, myself and William Waffles. Yeah. Uh, it was maybe maybe three years ago, and uh, we were. I remember it was the last night of the fair, and I like had just gotten off work, and the town was all busy because everyone was like going to the fair and getting out and all that shit. Yep. So. We, uh, like, went for a drive on the back roads and got all blunted. And then we went up to the top of the grade, the old grade, and parked up there. All these references, all the listeners are really getting. So it's right. like it's like this overlook. You know, you go park at, like, this overlook, and we could see the grade, like, uh, you know, the highway and shit. And um, we were just up there smoking and chilling. And uh, I... Something happened with me. Bill said that I like went quiet and I said something weird under my breath. And then he asked me what I said. And then I was quiet for like 30 seconds. And then I turned and looked at him and said, what? What are you talking about? And then I remember that. And uh, he was just looking at me super weird. And he's like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? He thought I was going to like pass out or, you know, something was wrong with me. And, uh. I was just looking at him weird, like, why are you looking at me so funny? And then, <laughs> and then, uh, this light, like, comes on above the car. It almost looks like a helicopter, like if there was a police helicopter that shined a spotlight on us. Yeah. So this light comes on, and it's a bright blue light, and it's, uh, it's on the hood of my truck, and a little bit in front of my truck, but the bushes that were in front of my truck are still dark. They're not lit up. So it didn't light everything up. It was just a little circle of light. Hmm. And uh, it shifted to the side a little bit. I could see all the shadows move and shit. And then it cut out. And we were like, what the fuck? And we got out of the car and like looked up. There was no sign of any sort of helicopter or any person up on the hill with a flashlight or anything. So we drove away hella fast, all creeped out and, you know, stoned and shit. And then it had a real uh, a real weird vibe to it, you yeah, know? It yeah. was just a light on on the truck, no big deal. But Where'd the light come from? Yeah, exactly. And then... Did you, like, the, have, did you look up and... Not the see? weird thing... Yeah, there was nothing. And the weird thing is that ever since then, we noticed maybe a week after that, that Bill and I each have this hole on the back of our left ankles. And it's right on our Achilles tendon... It's a hole that isn't like a wound. It's almost like a pore that's huge and stretched out, and there's a ball underneath it, and it never goes away. It, we both still have them. I'm feeling it right now. It feels like there's a BB under my skin. Hmm. She cut it out. I tried, and it won't come out. I, I squoze it and, like, fucking squoze the shit out of it, and it, it just keeps coming back. And Bill cut his out with a knife, and it fucking healed up and then came back. And we don't know what it is. They both popped up the same night, and we feel like uh, like the paranoid part of me feels like that's where they went in to our bodies. 
Hmm. Somewhere That's where crazy. some That's somewhere good. where you won't yeah. notice. And uh Bill actually looked it up and did some research on it and found out that there's a lot of people that report the same thing that we do. A lot a loss of time was another thing that happened. We were up there and it was after twelve because there was a lot of uh traffic on the freeway. I had gotten off at eleven thirty. We drove up there, so it was twelve, twelve fifteen, and there was traffic on the freeway because the ferry gets out at twelve. Yeah. So we were up there for maybe fifteen minutes before this light went off, and then when we drove away and got back into town, it was four o'clock in the morning. So there's three hours that are gone, just missing. Huh. That we don't know what happened. We can't account for it. And uh, I'm not saying that I was abducted by aliens, but I'm not saying I wasn't. That's crazy. That's crazy. You should um you should go see a hypnotist. Yeah, and try to try to stir that shit up. Well, no, they they w- once you're uh, under hypnosis, you can remember everything. I don't want to bring it up old shit in my childhood, man. Why are you trying to do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I want to hear the story. I uh, know, I want to know what happened too. Yeah, fucking uh, yeah. ask Bill, man. Did they anal the no, no probe you? <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope not. Did they get you or what? You wake up right. Oh. Who you I am? Yes. Are you gonna probe us? Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? How much can I learn from an ass? Well, I, I, huh? <laughs> it's true. Yep. But hey, I just, I just assumed that all all aliens were like a little freaky, a little yeah. kinky. Maybe they're like, oh, let's just see what's in here. Whoop. And you're like, what? And like. I just imagine, like, if you get probed, but you're just, like, hang, like, chained up by, like, these little restraints, and then they just sit there with this glowing probe that just, like, pokes you. It's like, <laughs> no, stop! It's horrible. horrible. It's, it's, horrible. Him, uh, it's, it's fucking... horrible, man. Like, it's <laughs> fearful, man. I'm scared. Well, nice. I know that as as long as as long as we're homies and neighbors, I won't let you get probed by any good, aliens, good looking out, I got man. your back. Good looking out. Thank you. I'll climb the beam up into the ship. Don't you fucking do it. And do what I got to do. Just bring it back. So so? if if anybody out there has any encounters or stories that they want to share with us, they should do it. Because I told um, my weird ass story. Hit us up, man. We (laughs) want to know what's happened. If you've seen an alien or like a spaceship or like had an encounter, like what the fuck ever. Hit us up, man. and, And let us know. Also, yeah, if you have a good story, we'll put you on the podcast. Also, yeah. if you're an alien, let us know. <laughs> yeah, hit us up too. Yeah. Bro. And if you're living Tell among us. us, then reach out to us and we will get your story heard. Yeah, because um, I need to ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, well, that's it. We're out of time. So thanks for listening, everybody. Amen, Abyss. And uh, yeah, yeah. keep your eyes on the skies. Wow. Peace, bitches. Later. I wanted to say that at the end. I'm glad I remembered. The Natural Habitat Podcast.